Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 150 here. Then here we apply the power law of log here. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, here yeah, we have x log 5 equals to log 150 over here. Then, next step here, divide both side by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. That is, here, yeah, log 5 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 1 around 50 over log 5 then next step here we can write 1 around 50 as 5 times 30 okay At this here we have x equals to log 5 times 30 over log 5. Then this here follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, it's same thing as log a plus log b. That is, we can express this as x equals to log 5 plus log 30 over log 5. The next step here, we, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 30 over log 5. Then here, we have 5, log 5 can switch other. We have 1 left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 30 over log 5. Then, next step here. Also, 30 can be expressed as 5 times 6. And what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 times 6 over log 5. Then next step here, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 plus log 6 over log 5. Then, yeah, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 6 over log 5. Then next step here, log 5 cancel each other. We have one left here. Implies x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, and plus log 6 over log 5. Then also from here, we can write 6 as 2 times 3. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 times 3 over log 5. That is, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 5. Then here, yeah, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. 
Then, here we apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this same thing as log A to base B. And this, all we have here becomes X equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5, then plus log 3 base 5. That is the value of x here we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. That is, what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 1, 1 and 50 on this side? Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, it's the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, yeah, this becomes 5 squared times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 1, 1 and 50? On this side, then 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25. And times yeah, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This here, this is 2, then times here we have 3. This is equals to 1 around 50 on this side. Then here we have 25 times 2 that's 50. Then times 3 gives us 150, which is equal to 150 from here. That is, we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class. Bye for now.